Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker and colleagues, I wanted to talk to you for a moment about HJR 27, a bill that I have recently re um, introduced. You know, I was out on my lawn tractor shortly after the election, and that tends to be a time that I can reflect a bit. And I was reflecting on the 2009 session when I returned to the legislature, and what a difficult time I found it to be with its partisan charge and um, difficulty getting bills heard and this and that. And it was also enlightening to learn that uh, my colleague, Republican colleagues previously had been absolutely as bad, if not worse. And so then I started reflecting on the 30-30 split that we had in 2011 and 12, and what a pleasant change that was. And it led me to think back to the days when I used to do psychotherapy. And one of the things that I learned there was towards the end of session, the end of my work with someone, I would ask them, what have you learned? And I found that was important to crystallize in their mind what they had learned and to develop a plan so that they could maintain the change and not regress. Well, what did I learn in, the, in this? I think I learned that partisanism can be very brutal and disenfranchising. I think that the 30-30 taught us that that partisan can be there, but we can also be inclusive. And that all 60 of us got to be players and involved instead of the key 15 to 20 that are so often the key leaders. And that we got an agenda that was more centrist and less partisan, and I think really reflects our charge to represent the best interests of the people. And then it also, I was reminded that about 28% of the voting public is not affiliated with either party and that neither party is really a majority party in the way that we simply act here. So as I thought about that, I came up with a possible solution that I, I thought was worth consideration. Why don't we change the requirement for passage from a simple majority of 31 to 40 votes? I think it could bring about some incredible bipartisan co cooperation, and I think that's basically an Oregon kind of value. It, poses the threat of filibuster, but I also think that's minimized by the fact that our voters, we have to look them in the eye every day because we're a small state and we see the people. And I think that if we're not careful, um, that extremes tend to prevail, and this will help not for that not to occur. And we can maybe move back to some of the administrative speakers and leaders of the past. I think this offers hope maybe even for campaign reform because less money because of the power. So let's have a hearing on HJR 27 and discuss how to do our important work better and perhaps in a slightly less partisan context. Thank you very much. Thank you, Representative.